All right. Welcome back. More questions from Twitter off touchdowntommy.com. Word on the street is that Bo is not adept to recruiting. Have you guys seen anything that supports or refutes that opinion? Well, I don't, I don't, it's hard, it's, recruiting is not a science. You know, you can go out and recruit peak players that you think going to be big time players and they don't pan out. Or you can recruit guys that don't have the big name and they pan out. You know, I think, I think with recruiting, when you get recruit guys here, it's all about how do you develop them? Do you give them opportunity to develop? Do you give them opportunities to go out and, and get the reps and practice the reps in the game to be to become a player or a good player? You know, so recruit, like, recruiting is one of those things you either gonna, you, you gonna hit on some and you gonna miss on some. The question is, how many of them do you miss on? And are you finding the right player for your system? Right, the guy yeah. that has the character that, that you want to bring into your program. He's gonna learn your system. He's gonna believe in your philosophies. Right, and you're gonna get the most out of him. You know, th those are the situations I think a lot of guys probably go out and try to recruit the guy that fits their system. Right, and, and that's the one thing that, that, that Coach Osborne did. He didn't care whether you're a two-star, three-star, five-star. Did you fit the system? And I think, I think nowadays people are getting too caught up into this is a five-star athlete, this is a four-star player. doesn't matter what kind of stars you are coming to high school because when you get to college, you're going to be facing guys who are just as good as you. The question is, can you develop that person? to become a good football player. I would, and I had a philosophy when I recruited a guy at Baylor. I would recruit, or recruit a three-star guy and recruit a five-star guy. And people say, why would you want to do that? Because most of the time, five-star guys have already peaked. They're not going to work as hard. Well, you got a three-star guy, he has a chip on his shoulder, so he's going to go out there and, and compete and show people that I deserve to be here. To where a five-star guy, uh, I'm going to go through the motions yeah. and not work as hard. And so I don't pay attention to stars. I tend leave stars alone. Go out and recruit guys that fits your scheme. Period. Lovely. All right. Submit your questions to twitter.com backslash touchdown Tommy. Will you mention this one? Mention Ken's name. Sure. All right. So it's the one about Budge Porter. All right. 